Oh, my kingdom for a bra that fits. I'm back. All right, big titty girl gang, I'm back with round two of the bra review. If you haven't seen my bra review from last time, I'll put the link below so you can track with uh, what happened previously. I'm also gonna give you a recap on some of the bras from round one that um, you, know, you might wanna know about. I went through a whole bunch of research and I made an actual funny video about this. Also, the link will be below uh, talking about, you know, all the horrible things we have out there. Absolute horrifying. So check that out. The Juno from review number one is still in heavy rotation. Um, it's still performing well. The only thing is, which is common for most bras that I have, is that there's usually a chafing underneath uh, the breast. So during the hot weather and longer runs, I have to take uh, some measures to get rid of this chafe. The Psy Roken. That one was a similar construction from my last video. A similar construction to the Juno, but it was for a fraction of the cost. And I found that in Amazon. All of these links are going to be below for the Amazon finds. Problem is, is within what has it been like less than four to six months that I found the construction of uh, the material to get loose, which usually takes years for the actual Juno. So um, I'm going to reduce the rating. Um, it held up and now not so much. And I've had relationships hold up a lot longer than this bra. And that's not saying much. Another problem I have with it is, and I discussed this, that the eyelets for the, the strap adjustment, what happened there is that uh, one of them for some reason is chafing me and I can't for any reason find out why. I can't see any stitching problem. I can't see anything like that, for, but for some reason I'm chafing on one arm. Maybe because I'm overextending it, I'm not sure. From my previous video, I discussed that maybe some of these bras that weren't suitable for running were suitable for maybe aerobics. I tried the Under Armour from the previous video to do aerobics and I'm saying, no, no, it, it, it's, it's not holding anything, way too much wiggle. I'd probably only use it for everyday use and possibly hiking or something but nothing to do with up and down motion or running or jumping. No, forget it. Under Armour, you have failed. The burly bra from last video, I mentioned in that video that I sized myself wrong. It's too small, very well built, good material, not suitable for running uh, for that model. And I basically donated it. So have fun. I hope it works for you, whoever gets it. Before we get into the nitty gritty of round two, you will notice that in this one, I'm getting bigger sizes. And no, I haven't gained any weight. Truly, I've been wearing the wrong bra size for a very long time. Let's get into it, shall we? We have bra number one. It is the shock absorber. I'll post the picture, it'll pop up momentarily. And I got this one in 34F. F stands for freaking big. So this style is a traditional style with the capability of locking the straps to make them tight as though it is a racer back, which I find really cool. Um, the size ranges I have are between A to L or double H, depending on what country you're from. Um, what's really cool about this bra is I actually went to Orangeville, Ontario, and I got to try on sizes and they carried the large sizes, which is amazing. So that's how I knew that I had to go from double D to E to F and F was freaking fabulous. The adjustability is difficult to do but it's very sturdy. There are a lot of eyelets for the adjustment. I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of these eyelets in there and it's hard to get them in there. However, they stay secure. And here's the clasp that makes the traditional back into somewhat of a racer back. And the hard part about this clasp for bra number one is that it's one of these things where you have to interlock then click in. 
If you're wearing this and you're trying to contort your body to just clock, no. This is way too much fine motor skills. The comfort, it's not easy to put on because of all of these adjustments, but it's well worth using this because I felt very secure in this. The material is great. It's a small amount of padding. I prefer padding. I don't like feeling every every wind blow and every piece of material rubbing against me. I don't like that stuff. The cool thing about bra number one is that I have gone on a long run, forgot to make uh, provisions for anti-chafe underneath the, the breasts, and I had no chafe. It was hot outside and it was over 15K run. So that was really good. The bounce play. The bounce play on this one is good. This is a very secure bra for me. It's in heavy rotation and it's become one of my favorites. Um, another good thing again, because I got to uh, go to run free in Orangeville, or running free in Orangeville, um, I got to try them on, which is amazing. Um, another thing is I found out that in um, some locations, the bay will carry this. So you too can go to the bay and find this, try on your sizes. And uh, you know, it makes a world of a difference than blindly buying something on the internet. Now, what would be cool about the extreme protective ones is that, again, with anything that's heavy duty, we always get these boring colors. Black, white, black, white. You know, it'd be nice to have a little color in our life. The price for the bra number one is $72 Canadian. I didn't have to ship because I bought it in store. So my ratings for bra number one, shock absorber. I give it an eight and a half out of 10, mainly because of the difficulty and adjustability and uh, you know, you shouldn't have to contort yourself. However, it's for a reason. Bra number two is also from Shock Absorber. This is the medium impact multi-sport bra. And these ones come in nicer, cooler colors. There's a whole bunch of them. Right now there's a 50% sale going on on their online shop. Um, but I did buy this through Amazon. So that's that. Uh, this is also a 34F, I swear. I did not gain weight, and usually when I gain weight, I gain it in my butt, not my boobs. The bra style is a traditional strap. These are very sturdy straps from here. The adjustability is okay for me, uh, somewhat limited, but what will make it more secure is that there's a double attachment. So you have your regular bra attachment in the back for the band, and then for the straps, you have a second one. The good thing about this is it does make it more secure and, and give you increased adjustability. The bad part is, is that you have to be a contortionist to get it on if you are trying to close it while you are wearing it. So what you need to do basically is close it first, and that's what I do, and then pull it over my head like it's a racer back, and then do adjustments accordingly. Uh, I'm just not Cirque du Soleil material. So with me discussing the style, I've already told you about the adjustability and the extra feature for that extra clasp, which is great. Uh, the comfort, it's very nice material. It is not separating of the breast like the previous model. Um, so you're hanging out together and it is not padded the way the other one is. So if you're the type like me where you don't want to feel every nook and cranny and every single wind blow and whatever, it's not for you. Uh, for me, I, I prefer to have um, separation if I can, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, so I didn't like that, but again, the material is great and it's still in my rotation. So as far as bounce play, I, it's not as secure obviously as the extreme support bra, um, but it does hold for uh, you know, medium to long runs, I would be comfortable wearing this with. I wouldn't be doing a half marathon in a race with this, but I would do my training runs with this and it's fine. If you don't want as much uh, constriction and you don't wanna choke out your lungs, this is a good one. And uh, yeah, good material, good make. 
just, you know, a little bit more loosey goosey than the other one. And here's another mystery. If somebody from a uh, shock absorber can explain this, there seems to be a gigantic pocket in, in inside like the lack of cup here. As you can see, there's no padding, very flexible, but what is this for? Is this supposed to be to hide your ID or something all when you're on route? I have no idea. Somebody, somebody tell me. The price for bra number two, it was $51.20 with shipping. And I did buy that through Amazon and it looked like it was shipped from the UK. Again, you can buy this at the Bay and I'm sure it's a similar price. It looks like it's online for $59. Uh, dollars. The rating for the shock absorber bra number two, I give it a seven out of 10. Adjustability is a little bit difficult again, and I my preferences. My preference is to have separation of the breast and also to have some padding to feel a little bit more secure. And because it's a medium uh, support uh, bra, the bounce uh, play prevention is not as good. Bra number three. This is the Burley Ultimate Performance Crop Top with Underwire Support Bra. Dun dun dun! This one is in traditional form, the style. However, it does have straps where you can take them apart and make it crisscross for a racer back. Also, what's cool about this is that if you want to keep it in the traditional, um, traditional strap up and down, you can bring in the straps at the neck with a clasp that they have that I'm going to try to show you here. You can join the clasp so it'll join at the nape of the neck and give you more security if you don't want to go through the whole thing about, uh, you know, making it into a racer back and pulling it over your head. The problem is, again, you would have to be a contortionist. This is very well made and very sturdy for the straps. So um, you're going to be pulling and tugging to get that clasp in if you are wearing it at, while you're doing the adjustments. Again, Burley makes really good material bras. Everything is just sturdy and comfortable. So it's not like you're wearing cardboard to make it sturdy. It's sturdy and comfortable at the same time. I like this one better than the previous one because as you remember, the other one was basically cutting into underneath my breast and I was like, this is going to not just chafe, it's going to break skin. This is a better band, way better band. I do still want to test it out in the summer months. We haven't had a good summer for me to test it out without uh, using my provisional anti-chafe uh, tricks which I'll share later. So we discussed the style and part of the adjustability. You'll see that there's a pretty good band length for me to, to adjust in the traditional style. Um, also if in the racer back, you'd have to loosen it up. So there's, there's a lot of, of play there uh, to adjust. And again, that clasp makes, uh, makes up for if, if you go right to the end and you're still a little bit loose, you can tighten things up that way or convert it into a racer back. Awesome. Comfort and fit. Again, I cannot size myself. I got this in a 34E. I definitely should be an F for this brand. And as you remember, I didn't size myself properly last time. So that's the difficulty in having to buy things blindly on the internet and not being able to actually try them on. I don't know if any Canadian retailers carry Burley, but I think you need to get on it. Maybe the bay could get on it. If somebody can tell me why the Burley bra has this little pocket on the inside of one of the cups. I have yet to figure out what this is supposed to be. Chapstick? Anti-chafe stuff? Like, what's supposed to go in here? It's too small for a phone. Bounce play for bra number three is very sturdy and very good. It's very good, just like the shock absorber. I like that even though it is a crop top, they have the underwire to give you a little bit of separation, which is, you know, again, I would really like that. I would really like to have a sports bra that separates the boobs so I don't have, you know, the titty sweats. For bra number three, again, I bought this, this is the second time I've bought through this vendor, also a UK vendor, and also through Amazon. A mio destino, they do uh, a really good job at shipping. It ships within a week, and that's from the over the ocean, which is awesome. 
Mio Destino ha has given me uh, discounts, thank you discounts, uh, multiple times when I've uh, purchased from there. So that was great. Um, I It was, for bra number three, the price was about 50 pounds. I'll do the conversion and post it somewhere. Um, that includes the shipping and the discount that they gave me from the previous order. So that's that. You got to go through Amazon to get to them or you can go direct. And my rating for Burley, I'm getting so close to getting the right fit, but this is the right style for running. This one is the right style for running. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Again, it's got a lot of good adjustability features. Um, it's just, I, I'm having a hard time getting my sizes and whatnot. So, um, and also I really need to know how that band is gonna chafe during the summer. So I'll give you a recap when I talk about chafing in my next video and hopefully uh, that comes out a little bit sooner rather than later. I'm hoping for some good weather. Like this is getting insane. So here's hoping that you guys can check out some of these bras and the links are below. I'd love to hear from you and hear your comments. If you've bought some of these bras, what's worked for you, what hasn't worked for you and uh, even some tips on some other bras that you may have found that you might want me to try out. I'm all ears. If you like these videos, make sure to like. Links for all the products are also down below. See you next time, kids. Keep it real. Keep it bouncy. Tits ahoy, me mateys.